<laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I wanted to start kind of a new series on my channel. I don't know how well this will go over, but basically I wanted to listen to my parents' old records. That's the whole series is just gonna be me listening and reviewing old records. Uh, most of them are bands I've never heard of. There are exceptions, of course, because my parents have taught me about some bands. But today I just wanted to start with three that I just picked out of their pile. So let's get into those three, okay? The three records that I chose to listen to today are Hardcore by Devo. This is a live album. I actually picked this one up for my mom because it was her Mother's Day present, but I have not listened to it and she hasn't listened to it either. So I'm gonna go give this a listen. So be right back. So, Hardcore by Devo live album. I'm only going to listen to one side of the albums each because I feel like listening to the whole thing would be just too long for a video. But I did enjoy the first side of this. Now I did enjoy this album. Uh, I have some notes on my phone. Uh, I did enjoy how many like good guitar riffs that they had, like all of their um, guitar sections were just like incredibly done and like especially on a live album like that means that they're really good to see live probably they're very like in some songs very like synthy and electric and I do kind of like that types of music so I did enjoy that part of this album uh, a lot of the songs on the first side I just kept like having to nod my head along to it was just like so good it was a very dancey album like, which means that they're probably incredible to see live. This, this album was just really good. I do understand what my mom sees in it now, so. Next album I'm gonna give a listen to is the soundtrack to Saturday Night Fever. I'm pretty sure this is my dad's record because he was the disco guy in my family, <laughs> according to my mom. It looks like it doesn't come with inner sleeves for the records, so that's hopefully doesn't ruin the record, but I'll go give this a listen. to Saturday Night Fever. Uh, I didn't have much hope for this record because I don't like disco, like, at all. But I did have fun listening to Staying Alive, a great song, obviously. I thought I wouldn't really like this album, but like the first two songs were pretty good. Um, and it was really fun to like dance around to, uh, kind of do the disco a little bit. <laughs> I thought How Deep Is Your Love was a pretty chill song to listen to. It was just kind of just kind of a calm disco song. Not like a Panic at the Disco song. <laughs> Get it? Cause Panic at the Disco. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me just die real quick. I couldn't really take it seriously after like two or three songs. I was just like, okay, when is this gonna be over with? I'm done, I hate disco. But um, the first song was fun, staying alive. I'd, I'd listen to like the first half of it again, but um, after that, 
I would, just wouldn't listen to it ever again because disco is not my tango. <laughs> Final album I'm gonna give a listen to is Ultravox Vienna. Ultravox is one of my mom's favorite bands. It looks like she got it for $1.99, so that's a really good deal. They look so old. Oh my god, when was this made? Uh, 1980. So, I'll go give this a listen real quick, and I'll tell you what I think about it. It's very electronic, um, and kind of eerie sounding at some parts, like on the slower songs it kind of gets a bit creepy sounding, which I don't really like the slower songs. Um, some of them were good. Obviously they're a new wave band, I've been taught that enough by my mom. I would listen to them again, I did like their sound. It was, it was pretty interesting, and uh, my mom is a big fan of Midyear and Ultravox in general, so of course I had to listen to this today. The songs were really long, honestly. I kind of got bored a bit after about the third or fourth song out of the five on the side that I listened to. I did like the faster songs a bit better, it kind of fit the mood of their style of music a bit better. The whole electronic sound sounded better on the faster songs. So that was my review of the three albums that I just listened to. I did enjoy about one out of three of the albums fully, which was Ultravox. The other two were fine, but I don't think I would listen to them again like I would the Ultravox. Um, I hope to continue this as a series on my channel, not just this one video because my parents do have a lot of records. I will see if I can get a video up next week. School did start last week, so I may, it may be a while before I can film a new video. Maybe next weekend I can. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!